right, this episode's called Trap. I'm assuming that it has to do with Kenma and the whole physical exhaustion trap that the other team has set for him. Let's find out what happens. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Haikyuu, Season 4, Episode 18, called Trap. Like I said, last episode was an amazing episode, a little bit of a flashback between Yamamoto and Kenma, how their relationship developed over the years and how Nekoma has gotten to where they're at. Super excited. It's the cats versus the monkeys right now. I actually don't know the other school's name. Um, Sarukawa Tech. So we're going to find out what happens with that. Super excited. I really do like that the coach of Sarukawa is an old student of Nekomata. Makes it so a little bit insider information, you know. Really enjoy that. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all of the shows I'm watching, like Black Clover, Jujutsu Kaisen, and many, many more to come in the future, check out that Patreon. Links are always down below for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you guys always know exactly what I post over here on the Dapper channel. And we have a PO box just so you guys know. So you guys ever want to send me any fan letters, art, figures, anything like that, anything and everything is much appreciated. Let's hop right on into this. Uh, IQ Season 4, Episode 18, Trap. Bro. That's why Nekoma was saying their resilience for actually being able to go through this plan is insane. Look at him. They're forcing him to dive, run, do so much extra work. And then on top of that, when they attack, uh, their defense is still good too. So this is just like a fucking exercise match. And it finally slipped up, literally. This, yeah, this is probably the tired, most tired he's ever been. That was good intuition from Fukunaga. But it's forcing, it's forcing my boy Kenma to have to go up. Ooh, that was a good decoy by Kuro. Nice, nice. Ooh, they're smart. Kenma is so smart. Even the intuition. He's so socially observant. Even the intuition from the other team. He was able to figure out that they figured out. He's like, oh, so you figured out my figure out, huh? I'm gonna go over here. That's what the hell? I love Neko Nekomada's always a slight smile. I love it. Our pampered little prince, hell yeah. Like that, that was an opportune moment. I like how he looks at Yamamoto. The camera looks at Yamamoto when he says that. That's why he did that. Perfect opportune moment. So smart. I'm telling you, the intuition from this guy is insane. And then finally, once they realize what's going on, that's when you just flip it around. The mind games are just insane. Mm, the mind games are working. Yup. <laughs> They're in there. 
だなアリサカでもやっぱりホワイトボードの上のようにはいかんのでな That is true Doubt begets doubt Nekomata is a genius when it comes to this, bro. I swear, it's like a chessboard. He just knows exactly how to move the pieces. We'll just get used to it. <laughs> oh, I love Kuro. He is so tired. Right? I'd be like, just fucking lose already. I would be literally doing the same exact thing. These guys are insane, bro. Keep pushing with these squads just cheering us on in the background. Come on. <laughs> Facts. That's so funny. Yeah, he's over here focused on gravity. <laughs> I like how he says Tora too, they're homies. A final move. That's funny. Everything relates to games with this man. I love it. He is pushing, man. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Jesus, bro, this would be exhausting. Yeah, he is pushing. Yeah, he always persevered. Saw it through to the end. If that's not guts, I don't know what is. You know what they say. Bravery can only come from weak people. The weaker you are, the braver you must be. Fukunaga's on the left. Oh man, this is such a throwback. I remember that. A whole camera shot of the whole team. That's what the brain, you know, the whole body, everyone's a cohesive unit. Built together, it's a team. Right over to Fukunaga. Perfect. He sees that shimmer. <laughs> He's going for it. Ooh. That's it right there. My boy. Look how tired he is, man. He's a real one. My guy, Kenma. <laughs> Look at him. That would be me. Nice toss, boss. The respect is always appreciated. What it looked like. I loved it. <laughs> when you think about it, smart. Right? Smart. Work hard now so you don't have to work hard later. That's just Ken when he gets frustrated, he gets pissed. I have a banana. 
Bandits are delicious. Where do I recognize Kenma's voice actor? When he screams, when he yells like that, he sounds like someone else I know. I'm gonna have to look up his voice actor. Oh, he did say that. Is it so hard for me to work that hard for my friends? I didn't even catch that. That's so nice. Right? If only you could be half that bad in game. <laughs> That's funny. And then, oh, and then it shows Hinata and Kara. We didn't even see Karasuno for two whole fucking episodes, man. Boy. If we win, we're going against them next? I was just wondering, I was like, I was like, I know I've heard Kenma's voice because he's always so calm, cool, and collected, but he's so good at playing calm, cool, and collected characters. What the hell? Of course he's Eren Jaeger. Of course he's Sh Todoroki. Of course he's Sabito from Demon Slayer. He's so many different voice actors that I recognize. Obviously, they're all the calm, cool, and collected, but I really recognized it when he started screaming, you know? Sounds quite like Eren, my boy, but that's just hilarious. He also plays Meliodas. I could so hear it. Man, you know, what a what a small anime voice acting world. I love it. I love hearing characters that play other characters, especially characters that you know and have known for so long. But what a fantastic couple episodes. I love how it came full circle and built up from even last episode from the guts from being friends with Tora or Yamamoto and now how it collects over here and he's like is a you know is it so weird I work so hard for my friends and Yamamoto's like oh Kenma you know just a full circle great episodes great soundtrack like always great characters I, I can't believe I got this sucked in and this excited when like I said Karasuno wasn't even in here for two episodes it was literally just my boys Shouts out to, what was it, Sukawara Tech? Man, Aki uh, Aritaka? Man, there's some real ones, man. I really enjoyed their strategy and how humble and respectful they were. And even Nekomata, you know, he's like, he's like, but all jokes aside, you guys were some worthy opponents, you know? Like, they, and he's so smart. He's like, he's gone through, he's gone through probably what, 75,000 volleyball games to where like he just sits there the whole time and smiles because he knows exactly what's going on the whole time. And there's really, you know, he just relies on his boys, but it's like, he's like, oh, so you're doing this. You're trying to go after Kenma. Good strategy, but it always, it doesn't always go like it does on the whiteboard. You know, he, <laughs> you just sat there smiling and you know, it's fucking, I just love it. I love it. I loved uh, Fukunaga, Kuro, everyone just popped off in this game to be able to make it work. And I appreciate it. These guys are savages. And if Karasuno wins against Inarizaki, that's we're gonna have the dumpster rival cats versus crows. We're actually gonna be there. I cannot believe that. This has literally been built up since season one. And we're actually here at Nationals. And somehow we only have what episode was this? 18. We only have like eight episodes left. I don't know how many episodes, 25, right? Oh man. Damn, I want like season five right now. Man, this show is so good. All right, I'm about to I'm about to go get some food, do some chores. But if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you don't want to wait for the next batch of episodes, check out that Patreon. Links are down below. Like always, don't forget we have a PO box if you guys ever want to send me anything. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Thank you so much. Peace out.